Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to another Shamshir Sound video. My name is Ali Nadam. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at how you can use white noise to make stuff like your toms, your kick, even your lead cut through the mix. Now, I've talked about the importance of white noise and how you can layer it to make things drive through the mix. But really, I wanted to use this example because this is a track I'm working on. It's a big room style similar to Quintino. Garmiani. It's like a jungle kind of filthy big room. So what better way than to demonstrate with this track? So this uh, type of strategy can be used with anything. If you want to make maybe a percussive loop cut through the mix, uh, whatever it might be, it's involving white noise. In this case, I'm using massive. So I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to play back the track and I'm going to show you how I used white noise to make the kick cut through the tom as well as the lead and you guys can implement it however you like. So let's just play back this drop. It has that kind of jungle kind of vibe. That's what I was going with originally. With a bubbly lead, that's kind of reminiscent of Jay Hardway. So I think when I finish this track, it's gonna be a combination of Jay Hardway and Quintino. So let's first take a look at the percussion and then we'll talk about the drop. So I'm just going to solo the percussion. Now check it out without the top kick noise. It has a little bit of air, a little bit of punch. And as Armin Van Buren said, the, like, not only is the kick super important, that's a separate discussion, but it's the slap of the kick. What you hear a lot around the 1K, 2K, 4K, beyond 6K, 10K, that slap. And so that slap is what can really give a lot of aggression to your kick. Um, that combined, of course, with the top kick, because the kick on itself, it has a lot of low end, but it doesn't have that slap. Listen to the kick. when we add this with the top kick noise gives it that spike and so now let's introduce the toms i'm going to introduce this right here so this is uh the toms are two parts the tom is uh essentially it's just a tom from the revealed pack that's a free pack i recommend you guys get it and uh, i have a little layer underneath it but i also decided Later, when I was making this, uh, I was like, hey, the tom is not cutting through the mix. It's like, it's good on its own, but it's not cutting through the mix. It's fighting for space. So there are a variety of ways you can tackle that, but let's just play back this and I'll show you what I did. So that's with the top tom noise. Now let's turn off the top tom noise. You see how it brings it right in the mix. It brings it right in the middle of the mix. And if we solo this, what I did with this was it's uh, not your average white noise. What I did was I also threw a lot of feedback into it. So when we go and look for this, I put feedback into the white noise, allowing it to give it some low end because I wanted to give it a little thump. So not only did I make it this, uh, I chose the bright and I gave it a little bit of EQ, a uh, tiny bit of a uh, low end I cut out from it because the feedback was giving it too much low end. And uh, the feedback gave it, the feedback you see gave it this like stomp, made it more percussive combined with the low pass filter. And uh, the result was something that uh, did have a lot of low end because if we listen to it unprocessed, and then this is processed, Really, uh, what I wanted to do with the EQ was I wanted to make sure it's not really taking away too much from the lead, and it's also rolling off a bit, kind of giving a bit of body to the tom. So this EQ suited it nicely, and when combined with this, it gave it a nice like center uh, body feeling to it. it, gave it a core. So that really shows you, and let's just double check here, the top kick noise, very simple. It was uh, a simple noise. Uh, I believe it was, let's see here. 
I believe it was a white, just a normal white noise with a low pass filter on there. But I felt like it was too open, almost like a, a open symbol or a ride. So that's why I automated this guy, the low pass filter. So you can always do these weird techniques. And um, I also cut out a lot of the low end just to give it that nice slap. So I cut off around 1K. And then the result was it gave it a little bit of sparkle. So the in this case, the white noise gave a little bit of a slap air to the kick. And then in the case of the top tom, it gave it like this body that really gave it this oomph. Which is really nice. Uh, and last but not least, I want to show you what I did with the lead. So let's play back the lead. The lead is comprised of uh, one synthesizer. And uh, it's mostly just square waves. And there's a lead top on uh, as well playing the same notes so keep in mind the top tom is playing the same notes you know make sure you're playing the same notes so you don't get uh, a problem going on um, in any case you can use a layer so to, to make it simpler so let's play this back it's very bubbly it has a lot of a click to it uh, I spent a lot of time on the sound design to get it just how I liked it but I felt that near the end uh, it just didn't have that click that I wanted. I wanted to have it a little bit more prominent to cut through the mix. And again, we're using the same tactic. In this case, um, if we go to lead top, very simple. It has a bright instead of the white noise. So it's more kind of airy, more of that hiss. And uh, it's just kind of a little click, I believe. Yeah, very simple, just quick. It's almost like a closed hat, if anything. So you could also use like a closed hat in this case. Um, but it's so easy to, to design these, so I thought, why not? So if we play it without it. And now when we introduce it. You see how it gives it that click. And that's what will help you guys making it cut through the mix. Um, of course, pay attention to leveling, pay attention to EQ, but these are like that, those hidden gems that will help you drive something through the mix. Because if the lead is very important, in this case it is, right? The kick is important, but the lead is equally important because the lead is really giving that motion to the track when we play this back. So because of that, I want that lead to have that click to make sure it cuts through the mix and it's heard uh, more. So definitely guys incorporate this tip. I wanted to show you like a real world example, something that I'm actually working on so that you guys can uh, kind of see what, what works for you. If you guys are using massive a lot, go to the white noise, go to the bright, uh, EQ it and shape it. It's really about the shaping and really about the filter and, and finding where it fits in the mix. But this strategy will help stuff and elements cut through the mix much easier and let them be heard because if i turn off all of these i'm going to turn off the lead top noise i'm going to lead turn off the uh lead top and i'm going to turn off the top kick noise so these they've been turned off all right and then when we turn them on It's quite a profound difference. It really makes them pop out, really makes them shine. But without sounding like I put white noise, they sound like they're glued. Then the normal listener will, will just hear it as one lead. So that's where it's uh, these simple tricks can really do a, a huge, huge help. So don't be afraid to try different stuff, whether it be something like this synth or throwing in a sample, it can really help something drive through your mix and make it cut through the mix. So if you're looking to make something cut through the mix, go for some simple stuff before you try to make things super sophisticated. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really excited to finish this track. This track is next on my bucket list. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button because I got some more juicy stuff lined up. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep making some dope beats, keep making them gains, and have a great day. Take care.